Like many other breakers in substations and switchyards, gas blast breakers vary in size and appearance depending on the manufacturers that make them. Some gas blast breakers are similar in appearance to certain air blast breakers. In general, they all rely on some common features to break a circuit and extinguish an arc. We can see what these features are using a simplified illustration. The interrupting mechanisms are enclosed in a tank that is filled with SF6 gas at a low pressure. The main arc extinguishing features include several sets of contacts, a reservoir of high pressure SF6 gas, a blast valve, and blast tubes. Very briefly, the breaker works this way. When the breaker is closed, the current path is through the conductors insulated by bushings and the contacts. When the breaker trips, the contacts separate and arcs form. At the same time that the contacts separate, the blast valve opens. This allows high pressure gas to blast through the blast tubes and through the arcs, blowing out the arcs. We can get a more detailed picture of how the arcs are extinguished if we look more closely at one of the sets of contacts. The main features in this simplified illustration includes a hollow moving contact, stationary contact fingers gripping either end of the moving contact, an arcing horn, and a blast tube. When the breaker is closed, the current path is through the stationary and moving contacts. The contacts are surrounded by low pressure SF6 gas. When the breaker trips, the moving contact slides along one set of the stationary contact fingers and separates from the other set, and an arc forms. The arcing horn sticks out further than the contact fingers that encircle it. Because an arc takes the shortest path between conductors, it transfers from the stationary contact fingers to the arcing horn and from the outside surface of the movable contact to the hardened inside surface of the contact. This minimizes burning of the fingers. In addition, the arcing horn is designed to withstand the intense heat of an arc for a very brief period of time. As the contacts continue to separate, the distance the arc has to travel to sustain itself increases.